It's Thursday, ladies and gentlemen, which means that I cannot watch the Canucks game. I'm going to be doing broadcasting for junior hockey at my local rink. With that being said, though, this is quite a story that has come out today. Goodbye, Palmu. Petrus Palmu has agreed to sign with the TPS Turku of the Liga and play the rest of 1819 in Finland. This comes to the surprise of most Canucks fans who haven't been paying attention to the Comets, because if you've been paying attention to the Utica Comets, you'd actually be looking at their stats and understanding why this is going down. And it's been going down because Petrus Palmu hasn't really been given all the opportunities to succeed. And if you look at just the numbers without understanding the context of the Utica Comets and how things are going over there, you'd look at it and say, hmm, Petrus Palmu is over here with one assist in 12 games played. That's kind of bad. Jonah Gadjevich is at four points, one goal, and three assists in 16 games played. That's not necessarily all too good. Cole Lind is at two assists, zero goals in 11 games played? What's going on with our prospects? I thought they were better than this. And for the most part, they are. They are better than the numbers suggest. It's just... The reason Palmu is going back over to Finland is because he's getting no playing time and no opportunity under Trent Cole and the Utica Comets. Because there are a few problems with the Comets that have led to this unproductive season by some of the guys that we expected to be a little bit more productive. The only one that's actually really succeeding is Jonah Gadjevich, and I'll let you know why. Let's go over to the Canucks subreddit and look at the article, Petrus Palmu plays rest of season with TPS Turku. There are some really good comments by Utica Comets fans to talk about this issue right here. Let's take a look over at Thrill Ho IAF's comment over here talking about the Utica Comets and why they have a bad record. Let's take a look at things from the second point. The team has a glutton of wingers, so much that the lines rarely stay the same for longer than a period, let alone multiple games. Hardly any chemistry is developed between any of the lines. Let's look at the third point. Skill players like Petrus Palmu were being paired with plug, grinder type centermen and wingers and asked to play shut down defensive roles instead of utilizing their actual strengths. Now for the third point. An example for the above would be Palmu slotted on lines with Vinny Arsenault and Jonah Gadjevich on a fourth line checking role. Then there are some other comments that are talking about how Petrus Palmu has actually looked pretty good when he was on the power play and when he was given a good amount of ice time with good wingers. But that just doesn't happen often. And for the most part, Palmu is getting scratched. Palmu is not playing games. And when he is playing games, he's playing in the bottom six playing with ECHL talent ahead of him in the lineup, and playing with ECHL grinder plug talent on his own line. So Petrus Palmu and Cole Lind are two players who have been suffering under this system, where they're not being given all the opportunities that they could be to perform in the Utica Comets system. There's kind of a fault here because it's been pointed out in some of the other comments in this thread that I was looking at that Trent Cull is basically managing his team less like a development team and more like an NHL team. He's got that whole, you need to earn your spot kind of mentality going on for the farm team, which if you're a farm team, I don't think you should be having. Because the sole purpose of the AHL's existence and the Utica Comets' existence in context with the NHL is to develop younger and somewhat alternate players into NHL talents. The purpose of the Utica Comets is to make these guys NHL ready. And Trent Call is over here playing the team as if he were coaching an NHL team, which I find problematic because as a result, guys like Petrus Palmu are going back over to Europe. 
which I don't think is a bad move, honestly, based off of everything that I've seen here and the fact that he's not being treated right in the AHL, not saying that it's because all these ACHL guys suck and he needs to be played. It's just that he's not being given any opportunity. You don't play Palmu with a whole bunch of grinder guys trying to get him in a grinder role. Palmu is a guy who can score. So now that he's going over to Finland with TPS, it's good, I guess. He was really good with them last year. He's going to have a lot of opportunity to extend his run as a TPS Turku member and actually develop and get more points. This is better for him than being with Trent Cull. And I'm not saying that Trent Cull is a bad guy. I'm just saying that I disagree with the way he's running his team. So guys like Gadjevic, it was talked about in the comments, he's actually doing really well under this system because he's already played his entire OHL career like a grinder plug type of guy. And he's also able to get some sort of points out of it. So Gadjevic, he's doing pretty good under this system. Cole Lind wasn't necessarily the healthiest all this season, so I'll kind of give him a little bit of a pass there. Petrus Palmu is in a position where he just wasn't getting any opportunity. And guys like Jonathan Dolan, he's been succeeding really well on the top six. And Lucas Yashik has been doing really well as well. But overall, Petrus Palmu is gone. At least for this season. It's almost like Dolan last year, remember he went over to the Oskvenskan instead of playing in the Utica Comet system because he had mono at the beginning of the year? That was really bad, but we saw the outcome of that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, Plus, and the Short Session on Gaming, and bye.